Yes, this is it. Fir trees. Merry freaking Christmas. I'm just excited to watch this right now. Because, like, finally, I'm watching somebody else do this instead of myself. Quiet, and it's gonna be the last time that it is this color. This is freaking exciting. Yeah, buddy. You got McLaren shit going on all over the place today. McLaren Tuesday. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, hi. Hey. Do y'all want to hear something crazy? I, I got a little preview. Who told y'all? He, he gave me a coming in, coming out. Like, oh, yeah, this just happened. I was like, we, I'm gonna hear about this. What we happened? actually almost died today. Like, I I think this was the closest, and it was caught on video. This was for sure the closest I've ever actually been to dying. We were at about 100, 120 miles an hour, and the diff locked and fing blew the tires off, dude. We were no fing shit about a foot and a half, two feet away from like this entire, like, we were just not. I'm so glad you're not crazy. Let me let me show y'all this clip real quick. Come inside. Let me show y'all a clip real fast. Death. So now we are going to take this man's eight hundred thousand dollar car and beat the shit out of it like he hasn't. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Like, hey man, I, I haven't got to go beat on my car yet. Will you? <laughs> uh, yeah. You don't even have to ask me twice. <laughs> Just to see how it does. Oh, I that dip. Not like the, that dip. That dip is weird. separated this from another car on the interstate just now. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> we almost died. <laughs> that was a good experience on one of these motherfuckers. I'll tell you that for sure. Holy hell. Holy oh, fuck. God, yeah. Holy f Yep, get that one. <laughs> oh, boy. We are alive and the car did not even have a single nick, dent, scratch, anything. In fact, there was just tiny bits of dirt and that was literally it. I'm amazed, man. Step one. Getting these down pipes replaced, the first thing we gotta do is pull this under tray off. And then these heat shields here are what we're gonna be fighting to get out. And uh, once we get those heat shields out, they should slide out either through the bottom or through the top. And should be good to go. Just gotta swap them out. Here you go. Okay, hold on. Do you need help or no? No, it's okay. We got the car pretty much fully disassembled now, so we are almost about ready to pull the stock stuff out and get started throwing in our FI exhaust, which is about time that I really, really need to talk about these guys. So FI exhaust sent us these downpipes probably three or four months ago. We were planning on getting them in as soon as possible, but of course, one thing led to another. Just now getting around to putting these in, I wanna thank them so much for being patient with us. And so anyways, we're about to get these things opened up, show you guys what they look like, and then get started installing them. They really do have extremely, extremely awesome exhausts. If you guys want to go check them out, you can go click the link down below. They even have forged carbon tips. Check that shit out. Shoot flames with FI exhaust free flowing and roaring exhaust system. Perform an ECU tune to achieve bigger flames for McLaren 600 LT. <laughs> Volcano conversion kit exhaust systems. Check out these FI exhaust downpipes. That is going to be sick on this thing. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I'm going to fucking break it. No, you're not gonna break it. You're just gonna Gavin? wish you broke it. Don't you break this. Now mind you, this is just plastic. All right. Plastic. The 
against a metal panel. One of the Christmas trees? Yes, this is the it. Fir trees? Merry freaking Christmas. I'm just excited to watch this one. Right because <laughs> like, finally, I'm watching somebody else do this instead of myself. Do you want to know what the other alternative is once you get to this point? What's that? Get oh. a pair of dikes and just cut it. Cut it off? Yeah. I believe you. There you go, freedom. There you go. So these are ball clamps. <clears throat> spread them. You might have to open this almost all the way. And then you're going to just spread it and pull it down toward you. Oh my god. I didn't oh, cool. Go. So, uh, this is the fun part. You're going to kind of hold the pipe up with your hand and just kind of pick it up and kind of move it around. And that's when you'll snake the shield out from underneath it. Okay. And it's going to be a bitch, but you'll be able to do it. And you are going to have to bend it a tad bit, yeah. kind of manipulate it. It is, you know, little strips of aluminum. But all right. Sick. Do you see this game of like Tetris that I'm playing? Dun, 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 dun. It's a little hard to see. Dun, 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 dun. There it goes. And as you're turning it, you're just going to keep an eye on this. Make sure you're not catching the bracket. Make sure you're not catching the body. Right. Like I said, when you did it on your and spider, it was. Yeah, does, does he need to go up and down with it when you twist it? Like, <laughs> yeah. Pass him by. I didn't know because you had the dual hand. Like, you're familiar with this position. There you go. Bam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah. I got you. I got you. You've got the heat shields transferred over to the new downpipe and everything. Looks pretty freaking good. You go ahead and get this thing slid down into the car and then start getting the lower heat shields and everything put on and hopefully get everything tightened up. What's that? These are very light. I, mean, I, didn't, like I didn't want to put it in my van to bring it over here. No kidding. <laughs> I thought broken pulling them out of the box, just lift them up. Wow. These, black, these windshields are literally so thin that even the slightest contact will crack the entire thing. So you can't really tell, but I've got a crack from here to here that you can barely see going along here. But anyway, they're going to go ahead and get this entire glass swapped out, and then we got to change the oil, finish up the downpipes, start it up, and we should have like a completely revised McLaren essentially. Then tomorrow we're starting the wrap. Now finished up the downpipes. We're working on a tune still, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a first start with an oil change and all of that good stuff. This is gonna be the first time finally hearing this damn thing with an exhaust on it. So maybe it'll sound a little bit louder, maybe a little bit better. Cycle through your, your key cycle. So one, two. Oh shit, don't. Congratulations on your first install. Thank you, thank you. That was Overall. sick. Honestly, this is probably like the most fun that I have personally had working on a car. It's gonna look good at night. Oh, it'll oh, look yeah. fantastic uh -huh. at night. I'm actually more excited for you to get that on film than anything. Really? So I had a 600 Nine LT rolls. Spider. As you're going, it'll have a nice blue flame sticking out the entire time. Gavin yeah. loves, Gavin absolutely loves night runs. <laughs> oh yeah. The next day. Oh, it sounds so good. We're just now leaving Harbor Freight. I've been watching the live stream. We're in the checkout, and Nick's like, "Oh, don't worry. It's a live stream of his son being born. <laughs> it's Lucifer." <laughs> As of literally right now, Lucifer is being dyno tuned, and they have me patched in with a live stream, and so we're just watching it. The craziest thing is it made, I believe, 585 wheel horsepower on 3.5 pounds of boost on 93 octane with no timing in it. 
And so we're just watching it, seeing what happens. This is kind of an interesting change of faith, I must say. Rather than us being there and him having to do all this and... Yeah. you're watching it from across the country, that's pretty dope. We're watching it from across the country and going to pick up our dry cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> what are we supposed to say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a famous YouTuber picking up my laundry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Ooh, they smell really good. I've never done this before. Really? We literally just picked up every one of our clothes, folded and ready to go. I would probably pay for this again, I'll be honest. I would too. This is pretty great. It's pretty convenient as fuck. Oh, ooh, hello. So, today, what? see our neighbor she's so sweet she's so nice she loves cars actually but I feel so bad every time that she's outside on the phone or whatever we come out here and start these cars and it's just like she's literally outside on the phone right now and the C8 is about to start up and be so damn loud anyways check it out we are taking the C8 today Justin let me take this thing home last night I've got to finish up the McLaren's downpipes I've got everything pretty much done as you guys saw we did the first start last night but today we're gonna go up there flash on the new tune go get the AC recharged and then put fender liners back in it and that should be it and we're done that car is gonna be completely wrapped up and ready to go rip down the road so uh, we're leaving the house this morning in the C8 and we will be returning in a 600 LT that is straight pipe you ready a, to go? What a day. Happy Friday, bro. I know. Happy, happy Friday, bro. Listen, watch how loud this is. Oh, I know. I know. She's this. outside on the phone right now. Oh, great. Can't be loud, You're going to have to tell her. That. I can't tell her. She's on the phone. That would be rude. Just go for her. Go, Star! Shut the fuck up, Daniel. Just start the car. No, we're trying not to be, but just a heads up. This car is about to start up, and it might be a little loud if that's okay. Oh, okay, good. Oh, I felt so bad about it. Yeah, we're those neighbors. Yep. She said, are y'all always going to be that loud? <laughs> She's going to love the 600 LT. <laughs> the straight pipe fireball machine. <laughs> police in front of us. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Oh, is he going to... <gasps> Bro, he just ran the light in front of him, dude. You can still go. Yeah, you really... You can, you can really... You can really still go. You can still go. <laughs> you can still go. And then it started turning... It turned red, and I was like, you can still go. <laughs> the cops behind me, though, the light's red. You can still go. <gasps> Goodness, dude, this thing is so much fun. I swear, this car and the wrap that it is in attracts so much attention. It is quite ridiculous, dude. I think we should get one of these one day. <laughs> you Cav. Uh, every time I get here, he always fucks with me some way or another. He goes, look at this gay dude. <laughs> the first drive in this car with downpipes in tune. Oh my god, this thing is so much louder. Holy shit. <laughs> Honestly, I had no idea what to expect because the 600 LT's exhaust is so short. It's like a foot and a half long. And that's pretty much all that you've got going straight out of the top from the turbo. It sounds so damn throaty. What an interesting fucking sound. You can hear the turbos a lot. Yeah, the turbos are very pronounced now. Man. High key, I am impressed, bro. What the f 
Oh, oh my god, I just saw that. Oh. Mr. Uh, drain bolt and everything else. Now, and Gavin, I told you this as well. Mm -hmm. When you start to, did you get your hands all oil? Uh -uh. Oh, yeah, you did. Not again. Not. Yeah, you did. I'm not even gonna do that. 